My name is Jessica McMichael. I'm a pediatric orthopedic surgeon, and today I'm going to discuss osteogenesis imperfecta, which is otherwise known as OI, or brittle bone disease. Osteogenesis imperfecta, or OI, is a condition that is associated with frequent fractures. OI affects any tissue in the body that has collagen, specifically type 1 collagen. So the different tissues are bone, the dentin of the teeth, so some children have teeth issues. It affects the whites of the eyes, the sclera, so some children look like they have a bluish hue which is otherwise the white part of the eye. It can affect the collagen inside of valves in your cardiovascular system. Uh, it can also affect your skin and your ligaments. It's hard to characterize the differences between the different types of OI. In general, there are some mild forms and more severe forms, but in the grand scheme of things, even when two children are affected within the same family, their disease may look different. OI is treated medically, and it's also treated surgically. The medical treatment available for OI now is really based on bisphosphonate therapy. And that's a big word for the type of medication you typically hear that uh, older people with osteoporosis take. And in the cases of OI, what the what this medication does is it helps improve the volume of the bone. It doesn't necessarily strengthen the bone, it just improves the volume. And in those cases, kids that have bisphosphonate ther therapy can have improved um, ambulation, they can have less fractures. Children with OI oftentimes just have low levels of bone pain kind of an aching sensation, and this is thought to be due to little micro fractures that we can't actually see on an x-ray, and bisphosphonates can help with managing the bone pain significantly, so it also really improves the quality of life, spending less time in the hospital because the manifestations of OI, primarily fractures, is happening less frequently. While there is no cure for OI, the long-term outlook is positive. We have new advances in technology with the types of orthopedic implants that we're using. Stabilizing long bones gives people uh, and children with OI a better quality of life, promotes ambulation, which allows kids to participate more fully in recreational activities. Physical therapy is another um, excellent area to improve strength. Pool therapy is particularly important. And so all of these things are typically available for children with OI to help improve quality of life. As far as a long-term outlook or prognosis, there has been research in bone marrow transplantation that suggests that may be an avenue for future research.